It's time to get serious for a moment. No more jokes. Do you ever feel like you're alone in a hopeless desert where time is slipping away, literally melting away and there's nothing you can do to stop it? Like humanity is spiraling toward nothingness and you're just standing idly by, waiting for another subscriber? Well, you might like Dolly. Hello and welcome to Art Splained, the show where I explain art. My name is Michelle. Today, let's get a little weird with the ever quirky and super famous Salvador Dali. This guy is known for many things, for being from Spain, for his surrealist works, for his paint skills, and of course, that goddamn mustache. Just look at that thing, wonderful. One of his most significant works is The Persistence of Memory. Released in August 1931, this oil painting is known as a kind of dream photograph, according to Doily, who was super influenced by Sigmund Freud. You know, the guy who was all about the interpretation of dreams and having sex with his mother. First, here's what you should know about what you're seeing. The setting represents a peninsula in Catalonia, Spain, where Dali is from. See the melting pocket watches? Those are supposed to show that time and space are relative. They're also supposed to represent camembert cheese melting in the sun. True story. In the middle, this weird blobby thing is not just a human, but Drawley himself. Some even consider it a self-portrait. Sure, why not depict oneself all attractive with filters and Photoshop, when you can instead look like some creature having the cramps in a nightmarish barren wasteland. Today, we're going to take this photo of everyone's favorite gremlin and put her in a spooky, nightmarish hellscape where she belongs. You just grab this, do a couple of these, Add a couple of these, and boom, she's looking better than ever. Ooh, poppy. Despite the less than attractive selfie, it's because of this painting that Dolele became world famous at the age of 28. About the painting, he stated that he wanted to systematize confusion and thus to help discredit completely the world of reality. Now that's something I think we all can get behind. It's so culturally significant that it's been referenced in things like the Simpsons, Doctor Who, Hey Arnold, Looney Tunes, and even some coverage of Deflategate. As always, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe, press the little bell thingy, and tune in next Thursday for a new video hot off the presses.